Daily scheduling of uh, lighting decorations and other devices is quick and simple with a plug-in mechanical timer like this one. The programming for all models of plug-in mechanical timers is the same regardless of the feature. You control the timer in 30 minute increments by using those pins. Um, if you want to set up your timer, it is easiest to uh, pull out those pins before programming. So you go in here with your fingernail and basically pull all those pins out a little bit. You can hear them click. So if you pull them all out, all of them are out now. That means this timer will not turn on anything because they're all out. Okay. Um, you want to set the time. So for right now, let's say it's uh, 11 o'clock at night. You would turn the timer around until this time now arrow points at the time. So in this moment, it would be 11 o'clock. Some timers have an override switch to allow the optional continuous power to a connected device. So if you look at this timer, it runs either in the timer mode or in always on. And always on would be the same as if you plug your device directly into your outlet. So we want it set to timer on. Then you would have to plug in the device you want to control. Now, you cannot plug into this one like a device that needs a lot of power, like, for example, a hot air gun or something, or a hairdryer, because that will have three prongs and that doesn't fit you no matter how you try. And you shouldn't put a, a very um, extensive device in there. We see we have here um, 1250 watt tungsten, half a horsepower, 15 amp that's the maximum you can use here in this one, okay? Now, usually devices with like two prongs are okay to use in here. This one even has the same size of prongs. Some have a wider prong on one end. This one plugs in like this. It's like a light bulb here like this. And then the timer goes into the outlet. Okay, if the device you plugged in has a power switch, it must be in the on position in order to operate with this timer. So now the connected device is turned on and off based on the position of those pins we just pulled out. We pulled them all out. So it will only turn on when a pin is pushed in at that certain time. So we have to push down all the pins when in the time frame we wish to have our device on. We can use a pencil or a pen if necessary to go in there in between. So my fingers are pretty fat. So if I would push down on that, I would select two or three at the same time. So let's do an example. If you want to go and turn our device on from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., so we have here the 6 p.m. and there the 10 p.m. We would go in here and uh, select all those pins in between those two times. Yeah. 6 p.m. So now at 6 p.m. it will turn on all the way up to 10 p.m. And if you want to create additional time events over this 24 hour period, you can push down more, more of them. So let's say if you also want your lamp to be on from 4 a.m. to 7, you would push those in. Now you see they are all plugged in, 7. So in this time frame, the, in this time frame, the light will be on and in this time frame, the light will be on. During the day, it will be off. So if you have more questions on how to use this, feel free to write this in the comment section below. And um, 
yeah thanks for watching my video and hopefully you visit for the next one